Vita kids, it is Miss Kaylee. How are you rock stars doing this week? Have you had some fun in the sun? I know last week I was so excited because it was our first week of summer, but guess what? This week I'm even more excited because we have reached our first week in July. And can you guess why I love July? Not only do we get to have fun in the sun, go outside and play, or we could have some ice cream because it's so hot. And if we're lucky, maybe even some homemade ice cream, yum. But also it's my birthday month, which is also so exciting. And we get to celebrate July Christmas. I am just so excited. Well, why don't we jump into some worship? We all stand up, get all our excitement out, wiggle. Okay, Vita kids, let's get started.
How did you do? I know some of those dance moves were a little difficult. Were you able to get them down? Well, like I said before, I am so excited for Christmas in July. Yay! And I know what some of you are thinking. How can we celebrate Christmas if it doesn't really feel like Christmas? Like I said earlier, we're having fun in the sun. Well, it doesn't have to feel like Christmas for us to celebrate it. Like, it's just going to take a little more focus and a little more faith. And faith is just believing in something that we can't see through things that we can see. Like, for example, let's take this gift. I have so much faith that something amazing is going to be in here. Because who gave it to me? I know they care for me and they want to see me be so happy. Actually, today's story is about gifts. Well, it's actually about one amazing gift. So one of my friends is going to help tell us the story about the little girl who found out about this amazing gift. So let's get started. Rin grabbed a handful of granola bars from the pantry and tossed them in her duffel as Aunt Dina watched. I don't know if they'll have snacks there. Aunt Dina raised an eyebrow and took a sip of coffee. Is it one of those church camps? I guess. I, I mean, Jess invited me. It's in the mountains. It sounds cool. You're gonna have to shape up, you know. You don't go to church like them. Hey, I don't get in trouble. Rin's aunt grinned and shook her head. <laughs> Whatever you say, hun. Rin's mom breezed in with a rain poncho and handed it to Rin. Come on, Dina. Rin's a good kid, and she's gonna have a great time. There's Jess. You go and have fun. It was a three-hour trip up to Camp Hickory. Jess and her mom chattered away, but Rin couldn't help thinking about Aunt Tina's offhanded comment. I do mess up. A lot. Images scrolled through Rin's head like scenes from a film. The times Rin snapped at her little brother. Go away, Keegan. You're such a pain. That time last week when mom shut off Rin's internet access. That is so not fair. And Rin snuck the password off of her mom's phone and that exam where she accidentally saw the answer off of her friend's test and wrote it down anyway. I shouldn't have done that. Hey, Rin, we're almost there. Jess's cheerful voice cut into Rin's thoughts. She tried to smile as she looked out out the window at the winding mountain road and high blue sky. Great! Rin's worries haunted her as they checked in and made their way to the cabin. These kids all go to church. They know the right stuff to say and do. Rin glanced over to see Jess struggling with her oversized duffel and backpack. She decided it was time to level up. Hey, let me get that for you. But you've got... I can do it. Rin staggered toward the cabin, hauling both of their bags. Inside, they met their counselor, Sally. Hey there, I think this is all of us now. I'm really sorry, but the bottom bunk by the door is kind of creaky. We usually draw straws to see who will sleep there. I'll take it. What? Oh, well, that's great. At dinner, Rin looked out for more ways she could blot out the memories of her mistakes. They ran out of cherry cobbler. Here, you can have mine. When Sally spilled her water. Oops, I'll just. I got it. I'll run over to the kitchen and get a towel. After dinner, everyone hiked the half mile toward the outdoor amphitheater for the evening gathering. Rin's eyes darted back and forth, looking for more ways to help. Hey, you can slow your roll now. Sally fell into step with Rin, who grinned sheepishly. This is all kind of new for me. <laughs> me too. It's my first year as a counselor. It's just, everyone here has gone to church forever. They've got it all together. <laughs> Trust me, they don't. I don't. But at least they know the rules, the right stuff to do. Rin, you have been incredibly helpful and kind since you got here, which is awesome. But you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. At camp? Yeah, at camp, but also with God. That's what this week is about. Having fun and relaxing, knowing that it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God totally loves and accepts you anyway. Rin frowned as she hopped over a fallen log across the trail. I lied to my mom last week. Well, own up to it. She'll still love you, and it sure won't change how God feels about you. <laughs> Not to be all churchy, but can I tell you this verse I love? Sure. It's the first thing I read when my friend Carl gave me a Bible three years ago. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. 
Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Christ, that means Jesus, right? Yeah, we'll talk about all that this week, but just know you can't work for God's love. He already loves you completely. Whether or not you lie to your mom or take the creaky bunk or give away your dessert. It just feels like, I don't know, I should have to do something. I know, right? But just letting God love you, that's the most important thing. Doing good stuff comes after knowing how loved you are. Rin took a deep breath trying to take it all in. As the dust began to settle, she saw a large campfire ahead with rows of benches. Jess waved. Hey, Rin, we saved you a seat. Rin turned back to Sally. Do you have a place to sit? Go ahead. I'll see you for s'mores after. Rin jogged over to the bench where Jess and the other girls from the cabin were sitting. It was a lot to process, but for the first time all day, she felt like she could relax because she knew there was nothing she had to do to fit in. Lavita kids, I still can't figure out what's in this gift. But you know what I can see? Is the amazing gift that Jesus Christ has given us. Since the beginning, God has been planning for this amazing gift. He sent Jesus to die on the cross for us, for our sins. That is such a great gift. And that gift is so big, it will never fit in any box. That gift is limitless. That gift is so huge because God's grace is limitless. It covers everything. It's bigger than this box. It's bigger than a box this big. It's bigger than anything you can ever imagine. So remember, God's greatest gift to us is Jesus. And because of that gift, it inspires us to do kind things to others. Not because we're trying to earn or work for God's love. Nothing that we can do will make God love us more. But even if we do bad things, nothing is going to make God love us any less. He is going to love us forever. So Vida kids, because God loves us so much and because no matter what we do, he will always love us. That love inspires us to do kind things for others because we want to just show Jesus' love for everyone. So Vita kids, I challenge you to do something nice for someone in your household. Show God's love to them. They may need it that day and they will appreciate it. I guarantee you. Well, Vita kids, let's end in some prayer. Let's fold our hands and bow our heads and close our eyes to help us focus on our prayer. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day that we could come and worship you. And we just thank you for how much you love us. We know it is so much. Your love for us is huge and it can never fit in any box. We thank you for everything, Lord. And we just want to show your love to everyone that we encounter. May this week be filled with so many blessings. May our health and our mind just be ready to do everything you call us to do, Lord. We love you so much. In Jesus' name we pray and say, Amen. Well, I had a fun time with each and every one of you Vita kids. You all have a great week.